though. Really? What, what, why do you why do you not think he's top tier? A lot of top players say he's top tier. His swing data is just not good, man. And his speed is not that good. That's true. But, but have you seen how much he can do every time he he hits you? Yeah, but like that doesn't really matter if you can't even get the hit. Okay. That is true. That is not. That's not wrong. So what right now, I I think he's really good. I think he's a solid idea. He's he's just you know. He just likes the range, he likes the speed. But he, he, he has the laser, he has like armor and invulnerability on a bunch of his moves. He can kinda like just like tank through a lot of like stuff that you don't expect him to. And he also has that like crouch dash. It's not that amazing, but it's something. Alright, it seems like our match is finally about to start. Finally. Are they going to start it? I am still patiently sitting here waiting. Oh, oh yeah, right. yeah, starting. Yep. It is Cloud versus Lucina. So game one, I expect Battlefield. I might be wrong. Maybe it's Smashville. Might be PS2. Oh, yeah, it is yeah, Battlefield. Right. Just as I expected. I, I used to play both. I mean, I used to play Cloud. But I played both of these characters quite a bit. All right, let's see how they both start out of the match. All right, they're fall falling up at wrecking on that quick damage. Yeah, I like that. Upward dancing blade. Very nice. Right now they're just kind of going at each other. Oh, this kind of like. In his driver's seat right now, and Charles is like a bit lost. He's like just trying to hit his bear. Bozil's just narrowly weaving in and out of his range and kind of just like getting away. Ooh, that was a good nice. Yeah, that was a good call out on the telegraphic approach. All right, nice he, he has the ledge now. Let's see how what he can do with it. All right, that was a good up tilt. Good end tile. Nice bear. Yeah, that was a very good parry. Oh, the run out of smash. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, he tried to go for the greedy yeah, smash. Alright, Ozo yeah, doesn't use the right combination. Edge guard. Oh no. Oh, he might. Oh, oh no. Unfortunate. I think he burned the dodge. And he, he was sucking too much lag. Yeah. Alright, now uh, Shao is in a uphill battle of trying to get the kill. He's. Oh, unfortunate SD it's from It's unfortunate SD from Ozo, where he uh, up the wrong way. Very tragic, both players with a tragic start, but you know. It's pretty even right now. Yeah, right now it's pretty even, because both, both made uh, e equally detrimental mistakes, so then they both make up for each other's mistakes. Right now it's relatively even, we'll see if Shao can let his limit cross dash or limit rip. See if you can find the opportunity. Need to burn soon. Yeah. I think Shao needs to like go to the edge. Like whenever he's just like directly above Ozel, he's just kind of getting juggled. He's also not like using uh, what do you call it down air that much. Down air is really important in this matchup to get out of disadvantage. Because even though Lucina's up air is disjointed, as you know, but Cloud's like down air, right? It's even bigger than like Lucina's up air, so you can kind of just like if you time it right, you can kind of just get away with it. Oh no, he tried to go for the really really S match, and oh, that's going to be nice a edge quick edge guard. Yeah. All right. Right now, Ozel with uh, one more stock remaining. Oh, oh shield break! All right, let, let's see what's the punish. All right, oh, right. shield break. Uh. All right, not bad. Tries to go for the quick edge guard. Doesn't get it. Too low. Yeah, Ozel hasn't been trying to use a down tilt or a smash as the two different cards recovery, which I'm kind of surprised. I mean, That's... he didn't really get much of an opportunity to do so. I mean, like. Every time when he uh, when Shao was off stage, he kind of just opted to go for like the riskier edge guard instead, which works sometimes. But when he's recovering really low, Lucina does can't really do a lot of things unless you want to go down there for the spike. She but could he, up B. Yeah, she she could do reverse up B, but you can also just tech it, so it's not that big of a deal. Anyways, right now, Jose with a uh, stock B. All right, he even a uh, quick dash attack, eighty percent deficit. No, Cloud's cross dash does a lot of damage. If he makes the right calls, he can easily bring back bring back the the score. Right now, it looks like a, it could be anyone's game. It could be anyone's game. So we'll just have to see oh, how he it. wasted it. Yeah. Ooh. Got that up smash for tech chase. Also, Ooh, it's really another one. Tacky. Yeah. I think right now, it just comes down to who throws the other person off stage. Oh no, he goes for the very, very greedy. Oh, F smash. He's not 
two frame hit, which he really yeah. should be in this matchup. Yeah, I oh, think nice I, I don't think he's familiar with the input lag or just like this matchup in general. That's why he's kind of like not really sure what to do. Oh no! He calls out the jump with the out smash. That was that was a good call from Shao. So yeah. game one goes to Shao for calling out Ozil's uh, quick jump with the entire with the entire out smash. That was a good recognition. That was good. Yeah. Most of them like to jump a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously, Swadi's aerials are really good, but especially Lucina compared to any of the other Swadis, like she has arguably like the best like grounded game among all these sword characters, which is something that's really really important and you really need to use. Like her aerials can get you quite a lot of things, but in certain matchups, you really need to like kind of slow down, space people out with your down tilts and left tilts. Oh, they're going so, back to battlefield. Yeah, I, th I think they're gonna run it back to Battlefield because you know, stage is still good for uh, both of the both of these characters. Three, two, so right now we're go we're going to game two, go! running it back on Battlefield for o Ozel. We'll see what he can do. Ooh, oh, let's go for the the uh, flashy uh, side B one into up air. Not a true combo, by the way. Don't don't try to go go for that too often. Anyways, oh my God, he tried to. I think he tried to re Ados just now and go for the F smash. I think he's doing a lot of side Bs. And yeah, I, I think he's kind of lost. He doesn't really like. He's not really using like, like the tilts that well. Yeah, and, and it's, it's kind of costly game. Yeah, he's getting hard punished for it. Like with the up Bs, up Bs, up smashes. Yeah. Whoa. I don't know if that was really good spacing or, or like that. That was just like. Oh, he tries to go for the dash tag two frame. All right. It's still not over for Ozel. One good edge guard could, could easily spell the end for Cloud. Okay, 137%. One good back air or one good dash attack can easily do it. We'll see how Ozel can try one to get out of the situation. Nice wall there. Eh? That was good spacing. Yeah, that was really good spacing. We'll see how he can uh, escape the situation. Oh, oh. down there, down there into forward smash. Nice. Oh, nice edge. So, there we go. He brought it back just with a quick edge guard, and now Shao is going to be hungry for the kill. This is where Ozo can start building his speed slowly but surely. So right now they're both furiously swinging at each other. We'll see uh, how how much Ozo can extend his speed. Or all right, Shao closes off the uh, the stock. Thirty four percent deficit, not that huge, especially with Cloud. You can easily make it back with a quick cross dash combo. Oh, he, he, he was it. Yeah. Oh, I th he, he had the right idea. He just yeah. wasn't in the right distance. Oh, another down there smash. Will he go for the same edge guard? Yes. I think he's dead. That should be yeah, good. That, that's it. Alright. Whole stock adv advantage for uh, Ozel. So, yeah. That, that was a nice down kill. He's slowly uh, using his tilt spawn now, which is good. Now, I'll shield? No, okay. If he I really likes his side keys. Yeah. It's a good move, but you really should overuse it. It's too much end lag for. Yeah, it's one of her better grounded moves, but you really need to be careful on how how you use it. Like all of them have quite a bit of lag, Un unless you do the aerial version. But that's a different story. Anyways, right now, Shao is in quite the the rough spot, trying to find a way to see out the stock, and uh, Ozo has a whole a whole stock to play with. Kind of just like try and go for as many risky edge guards as he wants to. No, it's a nice frame trap. What he did like before that into the downer. I like that. All right, the back end for for the quick re retaliation. Tries to go for the dash tag to catch the neutral get up. Doesn't get it. Okay. End situation. Up here, shield. Oh no, oh, it misses. Whips. Yeah. Like, uh, Limit Crosses has a lot of, uh, what do you call it? I'm not shield sure. Stun. Yeah, shield, shield stun. Like, it'll hit you quite far away. Oh, nice back air. Okay. So, game two goes to Ozel. Yeah. Very, very, uh, even game. So, this game, Ozel managed to, uh, adapt and, uh, bring back his, uh, confidence. So do you think they'll go to a different stage now? Oh no, they're going no, to run no, it no, back no. on Battlefield one more okay. time. Maybe of the stage. 
Yeah, it makes sense. This this stage is really good for both of the characters. But you probably throw something new. Yeah, I mean, if Shao wants to have a better bet at winning, he should definitely. Oh, okay. I, I think I think he is going to try something new. What What do you reckon he'll go to? Hmm. Just two. Maybe Yoshi story. Yoshi story, yeah. Because it gets the walls to like help stall. Oh yeah, ah, he can uh ball jump. And it's, the layout's kind of like battlefield, so it gives it similar yeah. advantages. Similar advantages, and the slants also kind of help. Like you can shoot like the blade beam diagonally. Yeah, it'll follow the stage. Yeah. Same for like that. So we'll see where they go for game three, the tiebreaker. See who comes out on top, and who goes back to uh, three, the training oh. grounds. Oh no, they are oh, going back to Battlefield once again. We got bamboozled. Oh no, I oh. I, I don't know what oh, just happened. Uh, I don't. Um, oh. oh no, I I don't know what happened to Shao. Yikes! I'm gonna have to do a quick check up on on what exactly is happening. Not really sure what happened there. My, my, might have been a uh, he got that uh, marker poisoning, you know. Played too much Final Fantasy VII. He's like sucking like the uh, the live stream or like the green stuff. He's like, oh, I'm dead. So right now we'll be waiting for Shao to come back. Not really sure. Not really too sure what's happening with him. At least he did disconnect in the middle of the game. Yeah. That's at least we managed to get a uh, two good games for, from both of them before uh, he uh oh he's back oh yeah right, he's back all right game three okay i think this will be battlefield again what the wolf they picked battlefield just now so i think it's gonna be the same yeah all right now we'll see how uh Shao can make up for those last few games. I think the key to winning this matchup is really just understanding like when you need to be on the ground. Because both, both of these characters like to jump a lot. And knowing where and when to entire them is very, 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 very important, especially in this matchup. I feel like Lucina does a slightly better job and doing it like warning yeah, the opponent. Yeah, Lucina does a slightly better job, but Kao also has a cross slash which like catches short hops to a. Uh, yeah, cross dodge is a really good tool for Cloud in this matchup. You can catch her. That was a good roll read. Alright, Shao's taking a breather on the angel platform. Slowly regaining his confidence, understanding what, what the situation is. Alright. Oh, nice up your shield. Okay. Nice up to the entire. Alright, Ozel's just steadily building his deed. Shao is kind of lost on what, what, what to do. He's constantly jumping. He, he doesn't really know, understand the fact that he's getting anti over and over and over again. He's kind of just lost. Oh no, he tries to go for the... Yeah, that, that doesn't combo in that percent. Like backhand to cross slash. Alright, the badge out. Oh no. He used the, the wrong area. If he used forward that would have... Ooh, nice up BL shield, okay. Down tilt. Oh, this is... Oh, nice net to catch the jump. Alright, now Ozel with a 3 stock lead. Shao is really, really lost. Not really sure what's going to happen now. Good fair. But you know, as they say, don't don't give up. Don't give up until your last breath. So, you know, just keep trying. Let's see what Shao can do with his last stock. It's Smash Bros, man. Alright. Oh no, he needs to be very careful now. If he gets edge guarded right now, it could be, it could be the end of him. Yeah, he's definitely panicking. He's not really sure on what options to do. Like, he's kind of just using, like, some weird options, like, Especially some down smashes. Smash, yeah. And he's rolling yeah. in a lot at that. Yeah, he's really, really panicking. Like, his panic habits are really showing. Ooh, nice up smash. Alright. 55% deficit. He has limit, limit on board. If he get, gets your opportunity, you can let it rip and get the lead. Ooh. Oh, if also you use the upwards version, I think that would hit. Anyways. Yeah, it was good patience from Oza, waiting for the down air. Alright, now we're just seeing how both of them are going to play it out. Up Oh, he really got it up Yeah, I, I think he was he was just like a bit scared and he kind of just like let yeah. it like, waited for a bit too long. Yeah, Oza isn't really good at 
He doesn't know how to punish these air dodges, I think. Like, every time, like, uh, he tries to jump off and edge guard Shao the same way. Like, Shao just, like, air dodges, like, back onto the stage. Ooh, needs to be a bit more patient. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. is that it? No, he has limit. Oh, yeah. Limit. Dash deck? Oh, no. Up smash? No. Alright. I don't know if up smash would occur at the anyway, so I guess that's I not the worst choice. Ooh! Yeah. Oh, the back has really got that hurt. It? Oh. oh, that's it. Yeah, he can make it. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's it. All right, that was a uh, good gameplay from both players. So congratulations to Oza for proceeding on to round two. Good to see him play. All right, up next we will have uh, Soul Knight versus Curiosity Cat, I think. All right, let's uh, get them both in the arena. Oh, and guys, by the way, for the competitors, once you finish your match, please leave the arena so the other uh, competitors can join the arena. Alright, now we're just gonna wait for them to leave and get Soul Knight and Curiosity Cat back in the arena. So, uh, let's wait for Ozel and Shao to leave the arena real quick before, before we proceed on to the, the next match. Who does Curiosity Cat play? I don't know. Uh, someone told me that he plays Zelda, I think. Zelda, you say? Yeah. Alright. Uh... Are the competitors gonna leave the arena? Yeah, we're just waiting. So some communication issues, I think. Not really sure what's happening. All right, now we're gonna wait for both players to come into the arena. So nicely. Alright, gonna wait for Sona and Curiosity Cat to both hop in the arena for game two. So Alright. So we have uh Soul Knight versus Curiosity Cat. We'll see what what they play as Soul Knight, you know, cult player, he also has a Sephiroth. Rumored to be picking up Pyramithra, not really sure what, what's going on with that. And uh Curiosity Cat as you said just now might be a Zelda player. We'll have to see how that how that goes. So yeah. So what what stages do you think they'll pick? Um I guess for Cloud he really likes like Battlefield, so yeah. I'm guessing that Curiosity yeah. would bend that stage, so